Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sherelle Mohammed. I'm here with my lovely sister, Shereen Petgrave. Hi Shereen. Hi Sherelle. How are you doing my love? Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. yeah. You look beautiful. Thank you, so do you. Yeah. All right guys, so today we want to talk about lifting weights, particularly women lifting weights. Is it good or bad? Stay tuned. a little bit closer to our camera, Shereen, because we haven't set up our um, mic as yet. I hope that you guys can hear us. We apologize if it's not uh, loud enough, but um, here we are. Can you hear us? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, okay, we're not live, so. <laughs> All right, okay, so on a serious note. Yes, you know, uh, you've heard the stigma before, you know, oh my God, if you start lifting weights as a woman, you're going you're gonna to look like a man, you're going to get bulky, and muscular, you're muscular, you're going to get and tough, ugly. <laughs> uh, and and tough Jamaican, yes. Jamaican like to say, you're going to get tough gal, she toughy, she toughy, oh the gal that's so tough, <laughs> okay, that's all the Jamaican we're giving you today. If you want to hear us speak more Jamaican, leave a note, leave a comment below. All right, but why do you lift? Why do you lift? So, so first of all, lifting weight actually help lifting actually helps you to lose weight. So, if you're someone that's you know overweight or it's just looking to drop a few pounds, incorporating strength training and lifting weights into your uh, workout routine is. It's so good, so beneficial. It helps you to burn fat uh, faster, and it helps your metabolism. So when you're at rest, your body is still working to lose that fat. And of course, it tones you. You look, you look toned. You look fit. You look healthy. It definitely helps, especially you know, grown women, women, mature women, mature women, women over, over forty, over a certain age group. <laughs> Um, you know, you hear you talk about collagen all the time and, you know, you start to lose collagen, um, which is really, you know, what helps to build your muscle and, and so, you know, when you're losing that, you tend to, you know, saggy your, you know. You, you have loose skin. Loose skin, So yes. lifting totally So lifting tight. will tighten, tighten up back your skin, you know, so those arms, a lot of times I've had people that approach me about their arms problem with their arms, problem with their back, you know, problem with your inner thigh, um, love handles a lot, and um, also the saddlebags. <laughs> I've got a lot of questions and a lot of people inboxing me all the time, and even people at the gym asking me, you know, a lot of questions all the time about that, and yes, I definitely, definitely, um, you know, encourage people to put some, some strength training in there with lifting weights. Now, you're not going to decide if you've never lifted weight before. Right, I was about to. You, you, you're right on target, Shereen. That was actually my next question. Let's talk a little bit about lifting weight for beginners. Okay, so the first thing that I would do, if, if you're actually going to the gym, if you're, so if you're going to the gym, I would do the Smith machines first to kind of get myself. those. So those Maybe. are like the, sta the stationary machines that's at the gym where you know you can do pull downs, you can do you know you know the, um, like press with your with your shoulder press right. stuff like that. So it's just like stationary machine, like you right. go from machine to you're machine. You're not carrying the weights around. You're not carrying the weights you around. Go exactly. to the weight. You go to the machines and use it. So those are some of the first things to kind of get your body, get your muscle kind of working, you know, against um, resistance. And um, and then eventually you'll find yourself with what they call dumbbells. Now these are the free weights, free weights that you're going to use. And you start off. They've got at the gym. They've got eight pounds. They've got ten pounds. They've I heard Michael Jackson used two pounds. 
he didn't want to bow. Okay, so they have two pounds too. And my, I did see that video, by the way. Michael, he was funny. I don't want to buck up. And, you know, he's, 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 he's just with his little, the best. So he was doing we miss his, little, you, Michael. his little tiny two pounds, which is probably like like <laughs> phones, you know, just doing his two pounds. Um, but hey, I'm not saying that you have to do two pounds. I don't know who needs to do two pounds. But I actually think eight pounds is a good little weight for you not to you know feel like oh my god it's so heavy so you start off with your eight pounds um and you know there's you do arm you can do arm workout with them yeah you can do um overhead you know workout yeah you do work up for the back you can squat with them um and so those you know incorporating that type of uh strength training in your workout will definitely help you and then as you get used to it you just move up more you know, so you're on the 10 pounds and then you're on the 12 pounds right um, and then there's certain uh, exercise that you're always still going to use lightweight like that like the 10 pounds and 12 pounds you know when you're doing these things with your arms um, for like your shoulder you always just kind of stay at a smaller weight right later on and then you do more reps you do more reps yeah right. so you want to do anywhere from 12 to 15 reps four times yeah. That's how you kind of work that muscle group. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, talk to us a little bit about um, compound exercise. Right. So, Lifting weights using or staying in the compound exercise method. Okay. So, the compound, um, it, it, it's those big, big exercises that you do that targets more, bigger muscles. more, more areas, bigger muscles. And more areas at one time right so like your squats your deadlifts um, so like with the squats we're working from your calves your legs your glutes your back and definitely your, your core your core is engaging in the compound right. workout it's definitely more than definitely one is in, movement is, right and it's also definitely working your core because at your core your trunk your knees it's engaged that you see right. our, our right. yes right um deadlifts you know you're jerking you know yeah. that's your quads again your legs your glutes Pass. your back um shoulders is in there and of course your core um yeah. bench press you do your bench press you're doing all all of these Everything yeah. is actually doing it, and you can't help but get them into it as well. Yeah. Um, and again, your core is engaged because you keep your body stabilized while you're doing it. So, how often per week should someone? Well, for beginners, but also how many how many days per week should we lift weight? So, the beginners, the ideal thing um, to to do strength training is, I would say, again, three times at least three times. Per week, and I would do a light warm up, and then I would go into my weights, and then I would uh, finish again with some cardio. And it shouldn't take you no more than about anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Now, an hour and a half is really now you start to love the gym, now you start to be a gym rat, now you're starting to get addicted, um, now you start to see the results, and you just start to go crazy. Um, so we put anywhere from a good uh, 45 minutes to an hour to an hour and a half, uh, three times per week. Yeah. And uh, how to avoid soreness? So it's advisable to stretch. Stretch is advisable. Yeah, so you can find, you know, we'll do videos on stretching for you, but if you're watching this and we haven't done those videos as yet and you want to hit the gym, um, then you can just YouTube something again. Everything's on YouTube. Everything is Google. Is, yeah, is out there. Google Information is, your is out there. Yeah, Google is your best friend. Um, just basic warm ups. You know, you want to warm up your shoulders. You so, usually we do that like about six minutes or so yes. to get the heart rate up. That gets the warm muscles up and stretch ready. the muscles, stretch the leg muscles, the arm muscles, the back muscles. Um, to get the body ready that you're about to put in some work um, and when you finish um, your workout again if time permits you take a few more minutes to stretch yeah yeah very good because you will you will feel um, the soreness when you're new because you're doing something to your body that you've never done before yes you definitely gonna have so, some soreness right and so do not panic you're not dying it's normal right it's very normal um, and as Shereen mentioned definitely to be proactive so think about that 
and be intentional about stretching, about warming up and about um, stretching again when you're done just so you will eliminate some of that soreness that you will feel and when you're feeling the soreness especially like your abs I would suggest and you can tell me if this is correct Shereen, I would suggest keep doing it sometimes when you're hurting you want to stop you're like oh I'm too sore I'm not gonna do that but even if you have to drop the weights Right, so you just At go lighter, time, you're but still you still do work that area to work out that work soreness. Work through the pain. Work yes. through the soreness. Yes. Work through the soreness. Yes. So you be fit, my tree. Like you. Very fit. What are you talking about? Very fit. I can't wait for you guys to see some videos that we have in store for you. That's why you definitely want to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you do not miss videos that will be coming. Right now we're sitting down talking, but we're going to be walking around, we're going to be videoing us at the gym, we're going to be showing you exactly what we do to stay fit and healthy and how you can do it too. Absolutely. So this is where we wrap up. Shireen, final thoughts, uh, health benefits for lifting. What I know you mentioned that in the beginning, but could you go over that again exactly what are some of the benefits from lifting weights as opposed to just cardio so like I said before it helps you to lose weight to drop weight faster if you're trying to lose weight uh, it helps you to drop weight faster that's definite um, plus the, the, the upside of that is also that you're toned so you look you just fit better in your clothes you look better your posture is better you know you know what a lot of people want with like you know like that, a hump, you know, a hump, a hump, right? A hunch, a hunch, hunch in the back, and yeah. you know, you just, it just helps you to have proper posture, and um, you know, lean out faster. Yeah. And um, it's also just good for your for your mind. You know, it's a good mindset. It helps you to sweat, and sweating yeah. is good for the body and the soul. And the yeah. Mind. And I also believe that as you are, um, you're really training your body taking it to another level that it's never been before. That's what lifting weight is about. But one good habit sure leads to another. So you best believe that you're definitely um, strengthening your mind as well. Yes. Um, one of the things, one of the key things about um, lifting, you know, weights and becoming stronger is that should you be in a survival situation, you're more capable to adapt. You know, to go longer. You know, you're you're to you run. Can, you can climb, run. To jump. There you go. You know, exactly. if you're in the desert or you're in the or you're, ice, or you're in elevate, you're in high story buildings yeah. like the 9/11 people. Yes. And yes. Then so you have to come down the stairs. You could climb the right. stairs. Can you breathe? This is this is so important. It's so important. It's very this is so important. important that we might have to touch on another topic. Yeah, we um, may have a part it. two of this. Right. Because it's a little loud where we are right now, guys. We apologize. Uh, we're out in a public place, so there's people around us. So I apologize if you're hearing background noise. Uh, that's why we're actually going to wrap this video up. And definitely we'll have a part two. But um, yeah, we love to lift. We, we, I remember, you know, just a quick story when I just started going to the gym. I remember I did not even want to sweat. I'm yeah. like, sweat. Yeah. You start walking on the treadmill and you start sweating. You're like, oh, it's time for me to stop, you know? Yeah. But as we educate ourselves, you know, more and more. And you understand and that sweating is good. Right. We understand. Uh, and sexy. Yes. <laughs> um, you know, you, you understand that it's necessary, right? First of all, as we talked about in a previous video, which you can check out. Uh, we talked about sweating is actually waste leaving the body, right? It's toxic leaving the body. And um, mentally, it's just such a relief. Yes. You know, it's, it's, it's we like love a, to actually it's work It's like out. a morphine that you get. It the really adrenaline is. that it's, it's just it's so good for you. Yeah. It sets the tone for the rest of your day. Yeah. That's what we love to, work to live first. first thing in the morning. Yes. Because once yes. you get a good workout in, yeah. you well, become untouchable. You. Yeah. The day you just command the day to be how you want it to be. Yes. And yes. and oftentimes yes. it is. Yes. How you want it to be. Yes. Yes. And you're motivated to come back again. And tomorrow. you're motivated. You can't wait to go to sleep. Yeah. And do it again tomorrow. Yeah. Of course, 
equally you want to make sure that you do your juicing as well so don't forget to check out the link below to get a copy of our ebook that gives you these amazing recipes on juicing yes. so that you're taking care of the outer body but you're also working on the inner fueling fuel in your body yes very important when yes. you're lifting Yes, you yes. definitely would. Ooh, we definitely have to do a part two because we haven't even talked about protein yet. Yes. Which is what's going to, you know, break down the muscle and then uh, restore the muscle. So we'll, we'll talk about that again, guys. Guys. <laughs> but, uh, but that's what we wanted to talk about today. You know, let us know in the comments what, what are your thoughts about women lifting. Do you lift? Have you heard that those phrases And we want to hear from guys too. What does the guys think about women yeah, lifting? About let us know. Yeah. Let us know if you know we're manly or you find it sexy or you or you know healthy. You know, should we should Strong. we not do that? Should we do it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So take it away, Shereen. Final words. Um, as usual, we uh, our goal is to in, in, uh, inspire and motivate and empower and empower. And we hope that we did our job with that today. Be blessed. Be kind to each other. Be kind to yourself. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. You look so cute. Thank you.